Hey guys, how's it going? It's Rob Sutton with Bike 198, and we're back here with another review today. There are a lot of times that I don't think riders realize how crucial it is to have a repair stand at your house to even do the most mundane tasks like changing a tire. It just makes it that much easier to work on your bike, and it actually encourages you to work on your bike a little bit more than you would have otherwise. So I've been a big fan of the Feedback Sports Pro Repair Stand for years. So when they reached out and asked me if I wanted to try their new HD version, I thought it'd be good to check out. So let's take a look. So guys, before I get into the actual review of this stand and who I think it's actually for, let's go ahead and take a look at the specs so we know what we're dealing with. The big takeaways on the Feedback Sports Pro Mechanic HD stand versus the standard is the increase in stiffness and just overall robust nature of the stand and its components. It also takes the working load range from 35 pounds to 50 pounds and the maximum weight to 100 pounds up from 75. To go with this increased weight range, you get a stronger grip to handle the heavier bikes with a new clamping clutch design. The strong clutch design holds the bike at any angle for repair with a 45% greater grip strength than their Pro Elite. The new ratcheting and rotating crank for jaw enclosure is faster and one hand operable. It closes up to 60% faster than their Pro Elite stand. So first, some quick observations. When you first unbox this stand, it is obvious that it is much larger than their regular Pro Elite. Everything from the diameter, the tubes, the size of the clamps, all of it is much larger than the Elite stand. And the build quality is exactly what you would expect out of Feedback Sports, and I've always been a big fan of the red anodized finish. So let's talk about what I actually liked about this stand, then we can go into some of the cons of it as well. First off, as you would imagine, this stand is incredibly stable. I would find sometimes when working on the Trek rail, which is a little bit over 50 pounds, that on the standard stands, I have to keep it at certain angles to keep it from wanting to tip over. That is not the case with this stand. It takes a 50 pound bike and makes an incredibly stable platform that you can work on it from any angle to get to where you need on the parts of the bike. And then the redesigned ratcheting and enclosure system that actually holds the bike on the stand itself is a lot easier to use. The knobs and everything are a lot bigger. It does clamp the bike down a lot faster. And this becomes really important when you're dealing with really heavy bikes. I don't know if you've ever had one of those instances where you're just trying to get the bike on the stand and it takes a little bit longer to get it on there. You can almost drop it a couple of times. So when it comes to these heavier bikes on this new ratcheting system, it makes it a lot easier and quicker and safer to get it up on the stand and ready to work on. So really, if I had to summarize everything I liked about this new stand is that it takes everything from their regular Pro Elite stand and just modifies it to be even better. It's more stable, the clamping mechanism is better, it has better grip strength, basically to handle either really extreme abuse over and over again, or a lot heavier bikes. So guys, you might be wondering, with everything being better than the actual Pro Elite stand, are there any drawbacks to this stand that you might need to know about? And first off, it is going to be the price. The Pro Elite stand started off at $395, which doesn't exactly make it a budget option to begin with. So to get into this HD stand, you gotta add another 100 bucks. You're at $495 for this Pro Elite HD repair stand, which could be a really hard pill to swallow if you're just a casual rider that needs to work on their bike every now and then. And then the second thing is, is you are dealing with just a larger, heavier stand overall. While this is light because of the aluminum construction for its size, it is still a lot larger than the regular Pro Elite stands. So with the $495 price tag, who is this stand actually for? And there are three different circumstances where I could see that $100 upgrade being really beneficial. So first, a traveling bike mechanic. Traveling bike mechanics have become really popular in recent years because they can come to your house and fix the things on your bike without you having to go to a shop to get things done. There are a lot of riders that might not have a shop nearby, so a traveling bike mechanic can really help you out and get your bike repaired. And those bike mechanics are gonna see a lot of different bikes and have a lot of usage with a repair stand. Everything from your little cruiser bikes all the way up to 50 plus pound bikes like you see behind me. And since they'll be using it so much and getting so much use out of it and actually a repair stand is part of what actually makes them money, it makes sense to have something heavier duty like this that can have a larger range of bikes on it and still be stable. And then the second one, local bike shops that don't want something permanently mounted in the ground itself. If you go into a lot of bike shops, you'll notice they actually have a single pole that is bolted to the cement ground in their mechanics bay. And the reason for that is it takes up less space and it's incredibly stable. They don't have to worry about all these legs on the ground and they don't have to worry about something tipping over. However, if they've got a space they want to be able to use for temporary bike mechanic work, they can have an HD stand like this ready to go that they can move around the shop and actually get other jobs done in the shop itself. And the third one, do you own an e-bike or a heavy downhill bike? 
this might be the perfect stand for you. Stands actually started getting lighter over time because bike weights were going down. Then when the e-bike came around, there became the need for a stand that I can actually hold up to 50 pounds or more. And this HD stand is the perfect option for that. So if you're an e-bike rider, this might be your option that you want to get a more stable platform to work on your heavier bike. So overall, I actually love this HD stand from Feedback Sports and I get it's expensive. I also understand it's not for everyone. But for that specific amount of people that really need a stand that can really take more weight or more abuse, it is a great option out there when we don't really have anything else like it on the market currently. So if you are working on heavier bikes or have a lot of mechanic use, it's worth taking a look at the HD stand for your next repair stand. So guys, I wanna hear what you think. Is this something you could see adding to your shop or garage? Hit up the comment section below. If you like this review, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to Bike 118 for more reviews like this in the future. And until then, on to the next one. Thanks guys, see ya.